this is my second year uh, doing the Olympia and um, first one I did in, in 95 I didn't do well at all but um, you know I, I, I just basically went in because I I know I had nothing to lose and everything to gain so that's why I did that but um, this year it's going to be a little bit different that I've improved a lot I've, I've brought up a lot of my my weak points and uh, you know I'm a more complete bodybuilder so this year I think I stand a chance of possibly finishing in the top 10 but basically it comes on to who comes in shape and uh, after that is whatever the judges feel like doing you know we, we're not in control only time we're in control is uh, when we're at home and we doing our homework eating when we're supposed to and training hard you know, I just wanted the judges to do their job, and you know, if I deserve to finish 16th, and I'm fine with that. You know, once I do the best I can, but if I do the best I can, I, I think I deserve to finish 10th or 9th or whatever is the case. That's where I should finish. You know, when you step on stage, nothing's, nothing's for sure. It's not like, uh, you know, the judges are in charge of if you're going to go home with a paycheck, if you're going to be able to pay your bills or not. I like, I like being in charge. I don't like people determining my future or how I'm going to live. So, uh, you know, basically I hold two jobs. I'm a professional bodybuilder. Secondly, I'm a personal trainer. I take my, my business very serious. I, you know, so when I get home, I normally call my clients, you know, I, I you know, I get on the computer or whatever. I, I set up workouts and what have you. So right now I, I used to split train even off season, I don't anymore. I used to split train around contest time. I don't either because I believe you got to train within your lifestyle. If you have a lifestyle where you can uh, go to the gym, uh, train, come home, eat, rest, and nothing to do, and go back to the gym later, train, come home, eat, rest, then fine. Your body is going to react to that and you're going to see improvement. But if you have a, uh, a lifestyle where you work, like in my case, personal training, what have you, and uh, you know, then you go back in the evening time when you work again, then if you split train, you're gonna be burning yourself out. But basically, I'm really excited. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a great show, uh, not only because Dorian's out, because Dorian being out uh, doesn't favor me that much. I say that much because, hey, I'm not gonna be in the top five or anything you know I'm not vying for the title so uh, you know that excitement is left up to the, the big runners you know Sean and Flex and Ronnie and those guys I just turned 30 uh, you know uh, um, you know I've, I've relocated moving to a different country on my own uh, having a son he's eight years old being married for, for a lot of years and you know, I've done a lot as a young man in terms of that, and uh, I had to, you know, I had to figure out what I want to do in life and where I want to be. And my life wasn't just bodybuilding anymore from like, you know, 88, 89, so I got preoccupied, but now I'm coming back. I'm coming back with a vengeance more than anything else. 99, 99 in the year 2000, people are gonna be like, you know, I remember when this guy was. A lot like Ronnie Coleman. You know, Ronnie Ronnie's an awesome bodybuilder. I remember myself and him competing in like the universe. And uh, you know, he was great then, you know, he was he won the heavyweight division. Of course when you look back now you say, you know, he wasn't that big, but at that time he was he was huge. Uh, I defeated him in ninety two actually. Uh, in like the Chicago Grand Prix and I think the Night of Champions. But, um, you know, I saw him in 95 and he just started to explode, gain more and more size and the 96 and, you know, 97 and now he's just a monster, you know. If anyone knows Ronnie, they could remember it. And that's what they're gonna say. I remember when he was, you know, and that's what I want them to say about me. You know, I can't believe this guy now. I remember what he looked like before. And that's what's going to happen in 99 and in the year 2000. You know, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be kicking some asses on my own, you know. And uh, that's what I'm more excited about more than anything else. You know, a lot of times we don't get 
much heavier. But the little weight that we put on because of our shape and everything, we look so much bigger on stage and we cre create the illusion that, that we're so much bigger matching up with guys who are 30, 50 pounds heavier than we are. Um, so for me to just put on a little more weight, you know, it's gonna it's gonna benefit me a lot. And uh, the program that I have set out for for after the season, after the Olympia, um, it's gonna be great. Yeah. All right, let's go eat some uh, McDonald's. All right, right over there. computer here, I do a lot of my work here, and uh, see my grill, I always keep my grill inside because I don't want to get destroyed outside the balconies out that way. This is my baby right here, this is where I prepare all my meals a lot of times, just grill all my meats and what have you, it's fast, it tastes good. I don't watch television during the day at all, I think it's a waste, too much precious time, I could be eating, resting, making phone calls, trying to make money and something. So I, uh, I start eating and I normally slip a tape in. As you can see, one of your tape right here, the South Beach 96. I have the different flex wheeler tapes here. The guy who I admire a lot, another guy who I admire, Sean. I have his To The Extreme, the best. These are my fishes over here. Uh, I have one here and I have another tank here. Just starting off with some little fishes again, you know. Um, yeah, and that's basically it, you know.